I'm Howard Rodman. This is Trailers from Hell. The trailer we're seeing today is Warlock, one of the great founding existential westerns of cinema. Warlock stars Henry Fonda. Henry Fonda was capable of playing almost anything, but probably, I think, was at his best in westerns. If you think of My Darling Clementine, if you think of Once Upon a Time in the West, if you think of this film, you realize that Henry Fonda could be urbane, Henry Fonda could be funny, but Henry Fonda in a cowboy hat is something truly memorable. Warlock is based on the novel by Oakley Hall, who was one of the great uh, insufficiently appreciated novelists of his time. The novel Warlock was a cult novel in the 1950s. It inspired Richard Farina. Uh, it inspired Thomas Pynchon, who talks about how his early writing was his way of trying to pay homage to the wonders that opened up his eyes from reading Warlock. Oakley Hall also wrote the novel that became the film Downhill Racer, that kind of existential sports movie. Uh, that James Poe did with Robert Redford. Oakley Hall's son, Oakley Hall the playwright, is the subject of a documentary called The Loss of Nameless Things, which is a haunting and poignant documentary about his son, who was a very promising playwright until he ran into an accident. And I think one of the lovely things about Warlock is how much of the tone and register of the astonishing novel Warlock translates to the screen. Anthony Quinn swaggers in a kind of dress rehearsal for La Strada. He really is playing the id of this town. Where's that brave deputy? The great cowboy killer. There were women in Warlock too. Richard Widmark plays um, the cane to um, Henry Fonda's Abel. It's a kind of foreshadowing of the relationship that they would later have in the movie Madigan, where Henry Fonda played a very straight-laced police chief and Richard Widmark played a swinging detective. A woman is good for only one thing. Is it so wrong that I use it? The glories of this kind of movie are that everybody has to choose sides. The glories of this kind of movie include the fact that once that ball starts rolling, nothing will ever really survive intact. It was produced and directed by Edward Dimitrik, who was a blacklisted Hollywoodian. He made thrillers, he made noirs, he made one western, which is this one, and it carries his special dark touch.